Can I copy your homework? Yeah, just change it up a bit so it doesn't look obvious you copy. Can I copy your okay. homework? Yeah, just change can it up I copy a bit your so homework? it doesn't look obvious. Can I copy yeah, your homework? Can I copy your homework? Can I copy your homework? Yeah, so it's only been around two weeks since my last Roblox video. But boy, I'm back and I'm coming in hot. Just like this diss track. One of the most popular games on Roblox is this game called Pet Simulator X. A game where you get a pet, click on coins, get more pets, click on more coins, and spend $250 on a Titanic Kamibara plushie. The game studio behind this, Big Games, has been under a lot of fire recently. Though this isn't the first time since a couple years back, they integrated NFTs into a kid's game. And also a lot of lot more anyways this time big games is under five are sending dmca takedown notices to games that make pets that look similar to theirs no game is safe as they strike arm wrestle simulator a game with 90,000 concurrent players and hammer smashing simulator with 20 concurrent players one of these developers even argued that the strike was false and preston mr main developer said that a counterclaim could be made the developer is 17. <laughs> now, this begs the question, were the copyright strikes justified? Well, to me, kinda. Looking at the memes the devs sent about the situation, you can see the models big games made and the models that the other games made. Some of these cubes definitely look like they were plagiarized, but others, not so much. Like the shark, which is kinda similar, but I don't think this deserves a copyright strike for. And also, here's another meme the dev posted. They copyrighted a square. But wait, there's more. They also DMCA took down, without warning, the Discord server for Twitter account called RBXG Leaks, an account dedicated to leaking Pet Simulator X assets to be used in future updates. The worst part was that they said they received no warning about leaking game assets beforehand, and when he asked a developer to why he was never told, he said he didn't care. The thing here is that these leaks were never even for a profit, and they were still taken down without warning. Guess they don't want free hype, I guess. But anyways, even Big Games community manager, Coilist, thought that Pet Simulator was the first game to introduce cute pets, which is wrong. Also, Pet Simulator X isn't known as being the pinnacle of originality either. They got the Lucky Block texture from Bed Wars, which is totally not from Hypixel, the entire throw your pet concept, and skipping toilet. And none of them DMCA'd you, didn't they? Like, guys, you already make so much money promoting gambling to kids. Why the need to make more money, you know? But apparently, they did need more money as the smoke plush. The company who worked with Big Games on their $250 plushies made a video claiming that Big Games defrauded them of $480,000, along with counts of racism that were all reported to Roblox. However, Preston claims that they stole $500,000 from Big Games. So, who's correct? Well, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a dude who scripted this at 11 p.m. last night. But anyways, no matter if Big Games was right or wrong in this situation, they still won because they released an update yesterday to calm down the 9-year-olds on Twitter. And it worked! The game went from 30,000 players to 100,000 players. Even if they're popular, it doesn't change the fact that their game is a casino for f***ing children!